In this video, we'll be looking at XCN Convert, a multi-image converter for Windows. It's pretty lightweight, but supports a huge number of image file formats, including the newer AVIV and HEIC. So on the website, just go to Products and XCN Convert. It's completely free for personal use, but if you're going to use it commercially, you do need to purchase a license. And we just want to go down to here and we'll get the 64 bit version for Windows. So obviously, you can see it's available for Mac and Linux. We'll get the installer. I already have it. Go through the installation process and you're ready to go. So, this is what it looks like when you first start it up. And I have some JPEG images here that I want to convert. So, all a bunch of abstract wallpapers. So, all you do is you just drag your images into the application here. You can see thumbnails and list view. And then under output, you can choose the output folder. You can keep it the same as the source or choose a specific folder. You can also choose to output to a zip file or email or FTP. I will output to a folder called convert on my desktop. And we have all these different file formats. It supports PNG, JPEG, GIFs, TIFF, WebP, newer file formats like HEIC and AVIF, as you can see here, RAW, and even PSD. So we'll go ahead and convert these images to their JPEGs. I want to convert them to WebP images. WebP. And under most settings, you have various options depending on the file format. In this case, under WebP, we have presets for photo, picture, and so forth. I'll choose photo and choose the quality. You can choose lossless, compression method. I'll go with 80% quality and hit convert. We get a progress here under status. And we can see all of the images being populated here and they've all been converted to WebP. And it's as simple as that. Now I want to show you converting a PSD. So I'll go ahead and clear this. And I have a PSD image here. I just drag it into here. That's what it looks like. We'll go under output. And I will convert this down to, I'll convert it to a PNG. And again, we have various settings, interlace, compression level. And here under file name, you can choose the sequence for the file name. This is good when you're creating sequences of images. You can change the index number, change the casing. So I'll go ahead and hit convert. And this will convert that PSD into a PNG. It's complete, and we have our PNG image. So, if you have a bunch of PSDs that you want to quickly have converted to any file format, image file format, then this is the program to use. In addition to converting images, it can also do some quick editing on, of images. If you go to Actions and Add Action, you can do all kinds of things to your images before outputting them. For example, you can crop the image, mirror the image, resize images, rotate, add text, vignetting, watermark. You can add a watermark. Under map, you have a lot of image adjustments, such as adjusting the brightness, contrast, color, saturation, exposure, all kinds of things. Sepia, white balance. Under filters, you can add blur, sharpen, soften, focus, enhance focus. And under misc, you have additional filters that you can apply. And each one of these have their own different settings. And you can add additional ones on top of them. One option you might want to enable too under settings is add convert with XN convert in context menu. This will add that option into this context menu whenever you want to manipulate or convert an image. That's pretty handy. I'll need to restart in order for that to happen, but you have that option available to you as well. 